I'll be taking you guys through this best of one between Endpoint and Royals. We got a UK Counter Strike brawl on our hands. Personally, I think it's this. I think this one is gonna be a bit exciting. And I think I forgot how to speak English during this. Uh, I guess an extended break. Endpoint versus Royals. To mention it is a best of one here on train. Endpoint, the clear favorites in this one. But today they're actually playing with Cryptics instead of PT. That's a bit exciting. It's the first time I've seen Cryptics on this lineup. And uh, personally, I think PT is an absolute beast of a player. But it's definitely going to be exciting to see if it's, whether it's a downgrade or an upgrade for Endpoint. Endpoint taking the knife round. They're going to be starting on the CT side and Royals on T side. See uh, someone asking about the giveaway. A winner will be drawn... In the start of April for that giveaway and I'll do I'll be doing monthly giveaways all of them you know, brought to you by my uh, pretty much empty wallet at this point we'll be doing the giveaways all by myself no sponsors for those giveaways at this point good job here by KP's high life my life does go down but KP's he's not done yet Mighty Max, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, KP is very low on HP. Mighty Max does pick up a kit, will get the kill, and should be able to get the defuse just in time. And indeed he will. Endpoint, they take the round, but Royals, they do manage to get a bomb down. It's a team ace here for Endpoint. Very cool start to this round. But just to elaborate on your question, I will be picking a, win a winner of the giveaway at the start of April. The winner will be contacted by mail and through Twitter. And then I'll start a new giveaway as soon as that giveaway is over. And obviously the winner will be announced in the, in the widget and on my Twitter. So I'm a bit confused by by the player called K P Y or K P I set. Sorry, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. So if it was up to me, I would pronounce it K P I S, but that sounds a bit disrespectful. Um, <laughs> I think K P I S is is the right pr pronunciation. I I honestly I don't know. If you guys have any idea about it, please let me know. Ooh, the follow-up nade over towards Pop Duck. You'll have to excuse me for one second.
I'm so sorry about that. It seemed like I didn't mute my microphone. I do apologize. Someone just came at my door. But I do apologize for that. I feel in incredibly stupid at this point. It's nuts. He gets the kill on Casper. Looking pretty good. Good start here for endpoint. It's gonna be a low round, low buy round for Royals. I can't get over I didn't mute my microphone. I, I thought for sure that I did, but apparently not. I, I'm sorry, guys. In point, they pick up another round on the board, making it 4 to 0. And as I mentioned, in point, they are definitely the favorites for this one. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really know. Actually, to, to be completely honest with you, I don't know any of the players on Royals. I don't I don't follow UKCS that much. Uh, I used to follow it quite a bit, actually. Haven't followed it for, for quite some time. So, I, as I said, I don't know any of the players on Royals, but I remember the name Royals. I don't know if I remember it from another game. But I definitely do remember the name Royals. Actually... Now that I come to think about it, I definitely know the name Royals from, from CS, but... I think that was a completely different lineup. I know some of you guys in the chat... I know some of you guys are from the UK and follow UK CS. If you do, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm still trying to learn the very best, but there are so many different teams. So many different parts of the world. Can't follow all of them, unfortunately, even though I would love to. I do want to point out, though, that I'm doing my very best to follow as much esports as possible, not only CS. I have the dual monitor set up. And on my secondary monitor, right now I have to chat and all that stuff when I'm streaming. But when I'm just playing or just chilling out, I always have esports on my second monitor. Whether it's CSGO, League of Legends, Dota, Starcraft, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, Vainglory. I watch everything all the time. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big nerd is what I'm trying to say. Cryptics, he finds the kill on Neff. I'm, uh... I'm kind of sad that I haven't followed along in this game. As I said, someone was knocking at my door and had to answer it, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't miss too much of the game. Good stuff here by Endpoint, making it 5-0. to zero. Running down the clock from Royals. Royals, they obviously they need to step up their game at this point. It's, it's not looking incredibly well. Um, but with that being said, terrain, as I've mentioned a few times, a very heavy CT side of map, at least in my opinion, and on paper as well, commonly known as a, a, a heavy CT side of map. And it can be very tough to get rounds on the T side. It's a very strat heavy map, very um, momentum based and, and heavy based on on changing up the pace, so a few rounds go in incredibly fast, some rounds go slow, back and forth like that. It's pretty much how this, this whole map is set up and how the current meta, meta works. Royals are essentially the worst team in ESEA Premier. I think that's a bit harsh. <laughs> I can think of at least two teams that I personally believe are worse, but I haven't watched Royals, so I might change my opinion dur during this game. Someone's saying that my arcane bet code ain't working. I'll take a look at that after this game. This, unfortunately, will be the last game I have for tonight. If my personal code on arcade game doesn't work, 
you're more than welcome to sign up using Endpoint as a referral code. Endpoint actually, uh, they're sponsored by ArcaneVet as well, which is one of the reasons why I'm uh, I'm broadcasting this game rather than the other game tonight. Gotta stick together. 6-0 for Endpoint. Pretty good position. Cryptics, a lot of money in the bank, sitting on 16,000 before he buys up. A lot of money in general on Endpoint and Royals UK. We can't really say the same about them. Ah. Nice peek coming in from High Life, but unfortunately, Emmy a bit faster on the trigger and he gets. Pretty easy kill over towards Ivy. Falling back into safety, just patiently waiting. He knows that K piece is, is out towards, or he, he knows that there's at least another player out towards Ivy. He doesn't know that it's K piece. See in the chat that there's not much love for Royals UK. That's okay, I mean, you have opinions, and I respect that. Please keep it respectful, though. I feel you on that, Oliver. I, I actually, I remember the name Royals, and I actually thought that they were a pretty good team. I will admit that for this particular game, I didn't really do that much, you know, that much research beforehand. Tesco. He does manage to get a beautiful headshot on Mighty Max. Brings it back to a 4 on 4 situation. Tesco, he's not done yet. Finds SU as well. Cryptics finally shutting him down. 3 on 3 and KP is in a good position. Finds the kill on Cryptics. Bomb has been planted. And will this be the first round on the board for Royals? It definitely looks likely at this point. Emi left alone, one on three situation, does have the AWP and the kit, but he needs to get a kill soon. And he is going to get pushed upon by Casper. That's that tunnel vision that we talk about so often. Emi just focused on one angle, getting pushed on his left hand side. First round on the board for Royals. Emi, good aggression out towards Ivy, he finds the kill on Casper. Good start to the round once again for Inpoint. And as I mentioned, they have so much money on the... In the bank. Nice skin on Emi, the Decimator. I believe that's from the, the new Spectrum case, if I'm not completely mistaken. I don't really care too much about skins. They look pretty and all. But personally, I don't really care too much about them. With that being said, I would want some some awesome skins, obviously. Four on five situation, favoring endpoint. Tesco, he does find one quick trade coming in from SEO, and SEO, he's not done yet. That's a triple kill, and it's now going to be all on Neff. 40 seconds to go. Bomb, it's dropped... On the B-bomb side, Neff trying his very best to get something done, but left alone in a one-on-four situation. Pretty much mission impossible. 30 seconds on the clock. He's going to try and fall back, see if he can hold on to, to his AK-47. But even that's going to be a tough task for him. We'll find the kill on Imi. But now they know his position. They know that they can take their time, pick up the weapons that they want. It doesn't seem like endpoint. I'm not entirely sure why Snots is still peeking up towards Hopper. As I said, it doesn't seem like endpoint will be going for for the push push for the hunt. Indeed, they won't. Seven one on the board. Endpoint in the lead. Six round lead. 
definitely in a good position at this point. Royals. We can't really say the same about them. It's, it's not looking too great at this point. But then again, just like someone mentioned in the chat to uh, our dear moderator, we just had a game not too long ago. The first game of the day, that was Penta vs. Spirit. It started off with Penta being on 7-0, and then it went to Spirit getting back and, and actually making it a 7-8 half. Still in favor of Penta, but nice comeback. And that was, in general, the game of comebacks. SEO. Another beautiful tr triple kill from him. Another beautiful round, and I want to take a quick look at the scoreboard here. And it will actually show us that SEO... Just like in the previous game that we saw yesterday, he's actually doing pretty good. Sitting on 14 kills. I believe he was sitting at the top of the scoreboard in the game yesterday as well. With Mighty Max just below him. Today it's going to be Cryptix. Following along nicely on 11 kills. And he gets one more. On towards Nef over by. On top of the blue train. Also known as t train. I'm trying my very best to follow along in the chat while I'm casting this game. It's actually quite interesting to see all of the... All of the cool, you know, facts, fun facts you guys got about these... These... These players, about the team. It's, it's pretty nice to see. And I get a bit of insight. One of the other reasons why I decided to cast this game is rather than the B Pro versus Chrome. Cryptics, another kill for him. Mighty, he's not done yet either. He gets the double piece. Tesco, he's now going to be left alone. Snots with the final kill for the round. And 9-1 on the board for in point. I mean, it, it's it's a bit tough to, to, to put this nicely, but... Royals, they need to step up their game. This is definitely... Suboptimal. This is not looking good for them. I see you guys. I, I don't know if you're trolling or what. You want to see God High Life. He's sitting on 2 and 10 now. Just doubled his, uh, his, his amount of kills by getting an AWP kill over towards Ivy on Imi. I'm not entirely sure if you're trolling me, but... but I got this feeling that you, you are. <laughs> Either that or you're just uh, blind fans, I guess. I guess that's a way to, see, to put it as well. SEO again. Been playing absolutely brilliant. And once more, he is not done. Beautiful kill on towards Casper. Brings it back to a 4-on-4 four -four situation. Finally, he's going to go down to Neff. Tesco, he will get the bomb down. <laughs> Barely missing the shot on towards Neff. I believe that was... I believe that was Snot, if I'm not completely mistaken. Snot and Mighty Max over towards Old Bomb Train. We got Cryptix over by Ivy. He's going to go down to KP's. Beautiful shot by High Life. Now I kind of understand what you're talking about. Neff, he finds Snots, and finally the second round on the board for Royals, but they need way more than this. Now, as I mentioned, it is a heavy CT side of map, or at least commonly known as a heavy CT side of map. But even with that being said, they need more than this. I mean, two rounds is, is not good enough. It's not acceptable in my book. 
I feel like if they managed to get five to six rounds on T-Side, I think they would be okay with that. Now, obviously, as I mentioned, Endpoint, definitely the favorites in this one. And they should be able to take the victory as well. I'm trying to figure out who who you're referring to as worsty. Um, it's it seems like from what I can, I mean, you're all speaking in code, so it's a bit a bit tough for me. But it seems like what I can I can decode from uh, from the chat rolling a bit fast at this point. It seems like High Life is worsty, and uh, I think it's a nickname because he's the best player in the world. I think that's the case. Please correct me if I'm wrong. He's a man of many names. You watch too much Game of Thrones, my friend. Either way, 9-2 first wreck of this round goes in favor of Inpon once more. That snots with the AWP taking care of KP's highlight. He has taken a bit of damage as well. Bit of damage done by that Molly SEO. I want to point out, I am incredibly impressed by SEO. He's been playing absolutely incredible and doesn't look like. Uh, Mighty Max, okay. Doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. And Mighty Max gets a jumping shot to finish off the round. That's going to be 10 to 10 point. They keep the streak rolling. That also means that Royals, their economy is now going to be somewhat busted. Now, they can still go for a false buy for this round. What obviously wouldn't be the worst decision. Actually, with a false buy for this round, it would give them the opportunity to get two buys. Well, I guess two half buys. Before the end of first half. Now, they'll get... One broken buy in this round, one full buy for the next round, and then it comes down to them winning or losing that one. Well, this round, as you can see on the right hand side of your screen, Royals on the scout. Two P250s, a deal in the hand of Tesco. Tech 9 for Casper. Limited buy here for Royals and should be another easy round in favor of Endpoint. With that being said, we've seen mo- Oh, okay. They almost line up for Snot. He does manage to get the kill on Tesco. Amy doing his very best to stay alive and get some damage done as well. SEO. But in KP's. Under the sandwich. Get another kill for SEO. Have I mentioned already that I'm kind of impressed with SEO? I'll gladly mention it again. Cryptics, he's gonna end off around in the same fashion as Mighty Max did just a few rounds ago with a jumping shot for the final kill. 11 to, to 2, sorry, I was about to say 11 to 12. Not really the case. 11 to 2, end point. Sitting pretty. Royals. With the head in the gutter. Now again, as I mentioned for you guys, I am 100% facing my, uh, <laughs> facing my, my criticism, I guess, on what I'm watching. I don't have any knowledge of Royals past. I don't know any of the players. I do know Endpoint from, from ESEA. I've been casting a few games of theirs already. Been watching them a bit. 
But but this, I mean, Royals, the way that they're playing, they're, they're not... So what we've seen this far, they're not really playing as a team. They're not... We haven't really seen a clean A take yet with, uh, with good aggression and... You no know, playing together on an A take. It doesn't look good. What they're doing at this point, it, it really doesn't look good. And I'm sorry to be kind of disrespectful here, but it, it really does look like a puck team. SEO, once again he finds one. Mighty Max helping out and so does Cryptix. That's another team ace for endpoint. Every single player getting a piece of the cake. 12 to 2. In my opinion, kind of an important round here for Royals. As I usually say, three rounds, sort of the bare minimum that you can get and still have a chance of getting back into the game. Then you still have a chance, even if you lose the pistol. Whereas 13 rounds for your opponent. If you lose the pistol, it's, it's pretty much over at that point. For this round, as you can see, and as I mentioned, another some sort of a broken buy is, is the final round of the first half. Royals on four, sorry, three tech nines, a single deagle on KPs, and Tesco on the UMP. Do you have a good amount of utility? I think that's sort of the silver lining for them at this point. Mighty Max, good position up close towards the smoke, just watching the smoke, he gets one, he gets two. Trying to look for even more, but High Life shuts him down with that Tech 9. Neff is going to go down to Snuts, and SEO, he finds the kill on KP's. High Life, last man to fall, in point, they make it 13-2. to The first half on their CT side, and Royals... You know, Donald Trump is talking about building walls. I think Royals at this point are looking to tear down some walls and get back into this game. It looks like they're in the pit at this point. It's, it's, it's really looking bad for them and, and, you know, they've been trying a lot of different approaches on their T-side. They've been shot down every single time. They only managed to get two rounds on T-side. Simply not enough. And Royals, they... Definitely need to step it up massively if they want a chance at this game. It's it's funny to see you guys talking about all of these uh, all of these UK players that I have absolutely no idea who are. I thought that I had an idea about UKCS, but UKCS has, has changed so much um, over the past, I think over the past five years, I think it's five years ago roughly, that I followed it, I followed along in, in UKCS quite often. Can't say the same anymore. KP's, good positioning, finds the kill on the bomb planter. That's Quite important kill, actually. Bomb gets shut down once more. It's now a two-on-four situation. This is going to be a tough one for Snots and Cryptix. Cryptix has already taken a good amount of damage. Casper and High Life ending off the round. High Life, High Life with a double kill for the round. And Royals, they do manage to take the pistol. But they do stay alive for just a bit longer. But again, it's going to be a tough task for them to get back into this game. They need... 13 rounds while only giving one away to endpoint to take this one in regulation. Now, if they do that, I would be incredibly impressed. That would be, uh... <laughs> that would definitely be something.
Griptix with the scout trying to peek in towards the A site, not really catching anything just yet. Oh, I love that counter, Nate. I believe that was KP's throwing that counter, Nate, but he didn't really do any damage. And now the push coming in towards the site, the B side, that is KP's. He goes down instantly. Neff dealing a good amount of damage. They're all incredibly low. They need to get the bomb down at this point. Imi still watching for that flank. I'm going to change his. Aggression towards the side. Finds a beautiful kill on Tesco. Ooh, another beautiful kill on High Life. I want to point out that Neff is actually incredibly low. The gun is right next to you. It's right behind you. Wait, I'll, I'll show him where the gun is. <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate. Ooh, didn't he just spot Casper? Maybe it's a bit easier for me to see. Well, obviously, it's a bit easier for me to see with the X-Ray. Neff shuts down Imi. Royals, they do take the second round of second half as well. 13 to 4. Still a long way to go for Royals. Bit of a messy round there. Uh, Neff did manage to do a good amount of damage from the side itself with a nade, a molly. And the wild spray down. This is a bit interesting. Royals, they're going for... Five UMPs. We don't see that that often. And the main reason for that is... Yeah, five UMPs up against a full eco team. That's pretty good. You're gonna deal a good amount of damage with those UMPs. And you're gonna get a lot of money from each kill. But all that money is gonna go towards upgrading for the next round. So, in reality, it's 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 really not that good of a buy. Especially not, not if you take that much damage. High life, he will go down, but Casper and Neff, they trade out. Tesco helping out as well. And as I mentioned, as you can see here, they still have three UM, sorry, four UMPs going into this round. I think, I mean, when you're this far behind, you can't really afford to go for the, for the extra round, the bonus round, as some people call it. Whereas you just save your UMPs. And, and you're willing to give up the round. So they do upgrade two of the UMPs to an AWP and an M4. But they still have two UMPs in play. Not for long though. Tesco, he finds one. He finds two, picks up the AK-47. Finally, he gets shut down by Snots. Three on three situations. Snots incredibly low on HP. KPs needs to be careful over towards popped up. Long distance on that UMP. The silver lining for him is that Snots is very low on HP. Neff. Gets the kill on Imi. Snots still patiently waiting for the pop dog peak. Beautiful peek coming in from KP's. Very, very nice shoulder peek. And High Life. He gets the kill on Cryptix. Neff will be able to get the defuse. Royals, they stay alive. For at least one more round. End point for this round. Once again, their e economy is not that great. Now, they could go for a false buy. It would be a decent false buy. That's exactly what they're going to do. But honestly, in my personal opinion, I don't think this is worth it. This sort of false buy, I would rather see them go for a control buy with Tech 9s, Kevlar. You know, some utility and go for a fast A take. Try to get the bomb down. Try to get a bit more money to work with. Especially when you're this far ahead. There's still seven rounds ahead. Still a long way to go for Royals. At one point, they do decide to go for the false buy either way. SEO, beautiful entry over from Ivy towards the back line of Ivy. High life, though. Nice triple kill. Yumi finally shuts him down, but SEO, he's very low on HP as well. 
Well, the good thing is he is in a good position. He finds one. If he's over to water connector as well, SEO, as I mentioned, incredibly low on HP, down to 9. KP needs to be careful. His position was known over to water connector. SEO will be going for the plant. KP, he finds the kill on SEO. That's not going to be a problem for him. Royals by the skin of their teeth. They do manage to survive for at least one more round. High life with a beautiful triple kill for that round. Nice double entry by by endpoint, but I mean they got demolished by high life, so what are they gonna use that for? Royals on the rope for a comeback. Already with five rounds in a row, every single round for the second half. That's gone in the way of Royals. But obviously they they need more. Be exact, they need nine rounds while only giving one away to endpoint if they want to win this one in regulation. Oh, they almost line up through the smoke. Tesco doing his very best. How is he still alive? He managed to get two. Neff gets two as well. Mighty Max, what are you going to do? He's going to find the kill on Neff. That is going to be it. Tesco shuts him down. That's a triple kill for him. A double for Neff. And the two-man ace. How in the world did he manage to stay alive for that long? He was completely blinded. He was hugging a wall. Completely blinded. Whilst three terrorists were pushing him. I'm confused. Good job either way. Endpoint. Standing on the back foot at this point. They still have five more rounds to work with before we are tied up, but already quite impressive performance by Royals on the CT side. Definitely looks like they're they're not comfortable at all on, on T side of of terrain. I think that's fair to say. Look way more comfortable here on their CT side, that's for sure. High life, he finds one quick trade coming in from Emi Casper. With the trade on Emi, Tesco finds Mighty Max over towards Ivy. Two on four situation. Bomb will actually get planted, so that gives a bit more money going forward here for endpoint. SEO doing his very best in the smoke, lurking around. Cryptix, he's gonna be... Ooh, what? Okay, that works. Does have an AK. Oh, he managed to get a triple. Okay, Cryptic's one on four situation. Still managed to get a triple kill. But Royals, they will pick up the round. Either way, that was quite impressive. And not only does it give him a bit more money work to work with. And they managed to get that bomb down in a two on... I believe that was a two on five situation, actually. No, it's not right. A two on a two on four situation, sorry. They managed to get the bomb down. They managed to get three kills. Or rather, Cryptix managed to get three kills. So that's definitely gonna be helpful. Gonna keep a damper on the economy for Royals. It's gonna give Endpoint a bit more economy to work with as well. So endpoint, they only need three more rounds to close this one out. Royals obviously doing their very best to make sure that doesn't happen. It's gonna get planted. This is exactly the kind of execute that I was missing from Royals. Exactly the kind of execute. Smoke in towards the A side. Good positioning, just patiently waiting, getting the bomb down, and then falling back to safety and just holding off. That's exactly what Endpoint are doing at this point in time. It's looking pretty good. Snots with the double kill. Cryptix, he finds one as well. High life, he's not done fighting just yet. The bomb is actually going to get defused. Ninja defuse coming in from Royals. 13 to 10. What in the world just happened in this game? The match will be paused, and I can only suspect that this is a tactical pause from Endpoint. I would surely call for a tactical pause at this point. That should have been an easy round for Endpoint, but nope. Nice Ninja Diffuse coming in from Royals. 
13 to 10 and a beautiful eight rounds in a row from royals quite impressive ct side from them in point i have to say i'm actually a bit disappointed in in points performance here on the t side i think i think what's happening here for Endpoint is that they're they're sort of underestimating their opponent opponent at this point in time and that's haunting them and now they realize well we actually did underestimate our opponent and that's sort of getting into the head i can imagine i know that's how it used to be when when i was playing you know counter-strike on a decently high level which can't be said set about me anymore play like a, a wood one I mentioned we do have the pause. I mentioned I do think it's a tactical for in point. 13 to 10. Eight rounds in a row here for Royals. Trying to make it even more. Now for this round, as you can see on the right hand side of your screen, will be plenty of money for in point to buy up once more. They are on the full losing bonus. They did get the bomb down. Did have a you know, fairly close round. In the last low buy round means that they are gonna have plenty of money to work with all again again in the hands of snots four AKs behind it all for high life four M force behind him Again, high level of aggression here from Endpoint. Quick out the gates, also known as T Connector, but Tesco, he's not, he's not giving up the site that easily. That's pretty good teamwork, actually. Mighty Max pushing up. Tesco did hear him. Meantime, Snots, he was sitting back, patiently waiting. I'm gonna smoke out connector. Keegan's what's pop dog, but KP's sitting in the right angle, patiently waiting. Mighty Max now gonna be left alone. One on three situation. He does not have bomb. He does have control of it though. Will be picking it up. Ah, uh, okay. What is that decision though? You know the position of one of your opponents over by Pup Dog. Why would you ever jump up on the train when there's a smoke in connector? You haven't cleared connector, so there's a really high probability of someone sitting in connector just waiting for you to make exactly that move. One on three. Probably the worst decision he could have made. Seen to 11 and endpoint. I didn't think I would have to say this, but they actually need to step up their game now. Bomb will get planted on the A side again. Casper trying his very best, completely blinded. Not going to be able to catch anything just yet. Ooh, Snots. Beautiful kill on Tesco. High life. It's going to be peeking from... Little Hut. Over by Connector. He finds two. Mighty Max over by Ivy. He finds Nef. Good job here by Cryptics. Taking care of High Life. And taking care of KPs as well. In point. They feel like now is the time. And now Royals have had their fun. They've had enough, enough rounds on the board. And we pre probably need to uh, to step it up at this point. And, and they do. Beautiful round. Very well orchestrated. 14 to 11. 
And at this point, Royals... They want to get the victory. They need five rounds in a row without giving a single round in favor of Endpoint. I simply don't see that happening. I would love to say otherwise. Neff, up close, high life. One again, once again, same position as the previous round. Good timing on that Molotov by KP's. And he actually gets a kill on SEO with it. Very important kill as well, because SEO, as I've mentioned, he's been playing absolutely out of his mind. Good job by KP's. Through the smoke, he finds him. It's not incredibly low on that AWP. Not a single. Single kill in favor of Endpoint just yet. Cryptics now will get the kill on Casper. Quick Trey coming in. Snots. He finds one. And obviously gonna do his very best to fall back. Hold on to the AWP. Another round in favor of Royals. That also means that Endpoint's economy is now gonna be reset. Okay, let, let's be honest. Guys in the chat... Let's be honest, you guys know more about UKCS than I do. I think that's safe to say. Let's be honest here. I don't think anyone actually imagined Royals going head-to-head -head with, with Endpoint like they're doing here. Uh, especially not after the first half. First half, just as a reminder, ended 13-2 to in the favor of Endpoint. And now Royals... 10-1, this far into the second half. It's not with the initial frack over by Ivy. He finds Tesco. A high life. A nef and high life again. It's now all on Cryptics. Four kills in quick succession. My life. They know the bomb is down and they know pretty much where about Cryptics is. Spraying frantically through and he will find the kill. 14 to 13. And yeah, as, as I just saw in the in the chat. As I just saw in the chat and, and this is important to, to note. You gotta respect it. And I definitely do. This is incredible. Definitely not what I expected, but I, I I certainly respect it. Royals, incredible comeback here in the second half. And they're not done yet. They're fighting. You know, for every single point that they can get in ESEA Premier Season 24. In point, they desperately need the points as well. UK CS. Are these the only two teams we have from the UK, actually? I think it might be. I haven't seen any any other team from the UK on HMTV at least, but might have to, might just have been me not paying too much attention. Let's be honest, that happens. Neff, he finds one, he finds two. Mighty Max and SEO and Capus. Keep wanting to, to call him that. Capus. He finds two of his own. Tesco. What just happened? I don't even know. Like 14, 14, how's that possible? This is like the comeback of a century. This is totally the reverse liquid. What just happened? I am so confused. Impressive stuff by Royals. You gotta admit, they look completely disjointed on their T side, but, you know, on their CT side, they look like a team. And they're playing pretty well. Oh, in point, very fast aggression towards the B-bomb side. SEO, he finds the first frag as he's moving in towards B. Mighty Max, he finds one as well. Drake's coming in for both of those. Snots will go down and so does SEO. Cryptics, the, la the last to fall. Casper shuts him down. 
15 to 14 for Royals. They're now sitting on match point. From 13 to 2. To 15 to 14 in favor of Royals. I think this is probably the biggest comeback I've personally casted. I think it is. In English at least. I was casting the Liquid game. In Danish. But I think this is the, the biggest comeback that I've actually casted in English. And you guys said that UKCS was a joke. Trolls. Trolls everywhere. I'll, I'll admit, UKCS, at least this game, kind of exciting. Oh, this round is the final round of regulation. Royals, they need one more to take the victory and those important points. In point, I need one round to bring it into overtime. Death and Tesco do find one each. Emmy didn't manage to take care of Neff Casper. Good reaction on towards Emmy with his aggression cryptics. He finds the kill on Tesco. Is this actually gonna be it? SEO left alone. One on three. Two of the players fairly low on HP. He finds one. Almost finds the second, but High Life shuts him down. And that will indeed be it. What a comeback. What a story. Royals. They take the victory 16 to 14.